All right, so I haven't done a video with the shitty uh, MacBook camera in a while, but uh, I, I really just want to talk about this new Earl joint. So Earl, who hasn't came out with a song since 2000, who hasn't, who hasn't had an album, an outright album come out in 2018, uh, Feet of Clay, which is basically an EP, uh, it's kind of a, uh, to, to me it felt, felt like a cutting floor of uh, some rap songs. Some people find out that it's, find that it's more uh, different than similar to uh, SRS, but to me it was pretty much just cutting floor material. Although El Toro Combo, El Toro Combo Mill, uh, Whole World, um, and Tista slash Cookies, I thought it was all pretty good songs. East was, I think, pretty much Earl's biggest song to at least since post Doris, uh, that I can I can recollect, uh, very massive song, especially in terms of memory. And uh, since 2019, he's pretty much just sat in his hands. So fast forward to 2021, uh, an Earl project has been leaked, uh, not leaked, but uh, rumored since pretty much the first half of 2021. Uh, I believe one thing he's supposed to have done was an Alchemist entire project, but. Instead, we just got a couple of songs in collaboration between the two, and then fast forward to um, to November eighteenth, two thousand twenty-one. We now have an Earl Sweatshirt single. Uh, it's called Twenty Ten. Uh, I'm going to listen to it and read the lyrics while listening to it. And he's rapping, which is just crazy shit. He's rapping like he's not doing the kind like. When I say he's rapping, I guess some dudes like think that shit means that he he wasn't saying real shit on the sing song, you know, slum shit. Like the slums flow is cool, and I say slums flow, I mean like the you know navy blue, Mavi, uh, Matt. So like just that kind of drawl shit they do, that was cool. That slurring, that was cool, but like. He did that shit for like two, three years. It's like, this nigga was one of the best rappers. Like, he's, like he himself said, best on the 40 list. This nigga was like in a rare tier, uh, technically, compared to any other lyricists, alive or dead, of any age. And it's just like, I wanted to get back to this nigga rapping. Like, I was done with the nigga doing the, you know, playing with melodies, playing with technical structure, playing offbeat, on beat bullshit. And I will say to his effect, I'm about to start it right now, but to say to his effect, he was trying to come back into that, that out of that shell uh, in 20, throughout 2021 with his features. Uh, all the mis miscellaneous ones I've heard, it sounded like he was trying to evolve back into, evolve back, right, I guess devolve uh, in a sense into a uh, more open rapping uh, structure, uh, more linear rapping structure, in which there's not explicitly anything bad with being a, a linear you know, artists, like, Nairo has to be fucking Open My Eagle 24-7. Even Open My Eagle has songs where he just just raps, you know? Uh, people in the, on the KTT are saying that it's called Sick based on his website. Uh, I don't know what his website is. I can, I guess, go into it while I'm recording this. Um, yeah, EarlSweatshirt.com, so if you want to look that up yourself. Uh, it has a music video on its YouTube Okay, so the music video is like an actual music video. Like, it's not him just, like, being piece-worked into various clips, like, East. And this Black Noise instrumental is fucking crazy. Like, it's an actual, like, crazy beat. I heard it's from Black Noise. I assume it is. And if you go in there, it says Earl Sweatshirt. Sick italicized and then video 2010. Cut my throat over the brim, bust open, there's no clothes in the lid. Gung ho, I'm the one that'll get it. He has a couple of flow switches in this, which is just fun. We got us funded to rekindle. Redirect the fight where it's meant for trying for a plight and immense loss. It's just, I'm about to pause real quick. It's just amazing to hit this nigga like enunciate his fucking words, bro. That, that alone is enough for me. 
to hear this nigga enunciate his fucking words is just just amazing, really. Yeah, I just stopped talking. I went to shit post on KTT real quick. Um, this this is Earl's about to come some special shit, bro. I need that. I need that warlord leather Earl back, bro. I didn't listen to too much Lucy's between like 2015 and now, but warlord leather Earl, um, E. coli. That nigga is crazy on Alchemist beats. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me read the last few more. Didn't look back when I broke soil, cause every time I did, it would hurt more. In a dark inside, we was real hungry. On a seven out of five, we was real hungry, and I didn't look back when I broke soil. That's some real shit, bro. I mean, this Nick. Yeah, I will say one thing, dude. He kind of got into like that. Um, that uh, who, who's a good comparison for this? I want to say Lupe, but like that's I feel like that's too easy. Um, kind of like kind of like Mike Homie, I suppose. Well, like you kind of do like this ring around the posy. It's part of lyricism. This ring around the rosy of having an entirely extended metaphor. Um, I guess Lupe makes more sense than Mike Homie, but like just using like kind of high language, uh, you know. It, it, verse structure to avoid saying something explicitly but still like it connects like five ten seconds later like oh shit this whole four bar stanza was here just to say like one thing like earl's moving on from this shit his niggas trailblazing and he's not looking back at the damage caused or he might he's not looking back because of the damage that would uh, cause and it's like that nigga set that shit up over like eight eight fucking bars, and then like you come back to it, it's like damn, <laughs> like that. I, I just think like the the idea of Kendra does it too. I think Kendra was the one I was looking for, but like higher language, and it doesn't necessarily mean like use like fat ass words and like multi syllabic rhyme schemes and all that shit, but just like not directly. Like it's kind of like with poetry. If you, in poetry, if someone just says, "I am sad," the girl is sad. Her dad wants to shoot a fucking bullet in my fucking heart. Now I'm poisoning everybody dies at the end of a Shakespeare flick. That shit wouldn't be interesting. The thing with Earl's sweatshirt more than anything is he captivates the fucking listener. There's, I think there's like maybe less than five rappers that are like semi-main... Like I can't name every fucking rapper in the world. But like semi-mainstream artists that are like pretty well known that like do the job he does with captivating the listener. If you don't like some rap songs and all the uh, slum shit he was doing, that nigga did in such a way that it was just to me more gravita uh, would gravitate you more than like somebody like like I like I like Masso. Um, I liked uh, was it Strong Side? I like Strong Side. Uh, I like David Blues Reprise. Uh, his that that joint. Um, I mean, Maggie, I think it's probably the best one out of the, the group that I can think of off the top of my head. But, like, I, I, I mean, Earl just, to me, is more interesting. I, I just really think it's the way to put it. And maybe it's because I have a bias. I will admit that. I mean, Maggie can rap. Like, Maggie doesn't do the same song shit all the time. Um, who did Mike? Wait, that's Mike. Mike. I forgot about Mike. Mike's like the leading dog in there. To me, I think Mike isn't as good a rapper as Earl. Or Mavi, and maybe even not Matt. So, but like, I think there's a certain thing he does with sounds that can still let out more than enough emotion to make up for that. But I'm not here to like just try to break down like uh you know slums niggas. I'm pretty sure that was him. I think Mike was way the world. Um, yeah, I really don't know what else to say. This this was this is really fucking good, dude. Um. It appears like it's going to be another kind of unconventional uh, release pattern 
for Earl sweatshirt, like just some off the wall shit with, with Earl, and I'm, I'm cool with that. You know, I, I, I like I like Earl. I mean, whatever Earl comes out with, as long as it's focused and it feels like a real project, which I would say pretty much most of what he's done, other than to me, the only thing that felt like it was just like this is an EP and it's supposed to be here for this time only, and then we're moving on from this was Feet of Clay. I, and I don't think it's a song link type of thing. I just feel like, um, like Solace is what five tracks, but like that's probably one of his most acclaimed projects. I mean, you can make very deep shit in like less than six, seven songs, but like, I just really felt like some of the shit he was doing with Feet of Clay is like, this is it, and then we're moving off from this sound. I, don't, I really don't know what to say. I mean, I heard there's something some crazy shit at the end of this song. So let me finish this music video and then I'll see what's up. And then check his Instagram too while I'm doing this. Soapman1, I forgot his Instagram name for a while. You type, like, there's some guys who are big enough where you type their name in, like, even if they have a different alias that'll pop up, but Earl evidently is not that big. This is definitely the most animated he's been to a music video since, like, Odd Future Days. Easily. The most enemies he's been using is Odd Future Days. I mean, different different scenes, different backdrops, different times, different moods. All right, I'm at the end. I want to see what this is talking about. There also a lot of features this year. Now that I look at it. All right, I heard there was supposed to be some. This nigga's supposed to be going crazy on the end, there, but just a long outro. I know the Spotify version is like a outro of like I don't I don't know who it is, but niggas telling like he's spitting and shit like that. So that's cool. Uh, I don't know, ten minutes, eleven minutes. All right. Hope you all enjoyed this. I'm not even sure how much you could t tell for this. My shit's probably overloaded, but I have fun with this uh, new old sweatshirt. Shit was good. I I, I enjoyed it, bro.